children at Cumnock Academy are coming to the end of their first year in the new rugby development programme which aims to improve youngsters skills as well as participation levels in the sport. The new initiative is not only aiming to teach children about rugby but how to improve fitness levels as well as people skills through participation in sport. Community Development Officer Harry Riley explains all those involved in the project. The School of Rugby is a partnership uh, between the uh, local rugby club who are a you know, significant contributor to it, uh, also East Ayrshire Leisure Services, um, the SRU, Scottish Rugby. Uh, this was a pilot programme with ourselves in Grange Academy, so uh, the, the, there weren't any models to work from. Uh, so everything that we've done this year has been brand new. Harry admits that the school have helped to make his job a whole lot easier. The school have been absolutely fantastic. Um, very open-minded school that are keen to look at any opportunity that allows the um, our youngsters to develop. It provides so many life skills for, for our young people when they move forward, going into college, going into university jobs, through things like teamwork, communication, and dedication, hard work, you know, all the traits that employers in, in this day and age are looking for. Unfortunately, it's not all about playing the game for the youngsters, as class time is incorporated too. The children will study all aspects of the sport, including the rules, as well as how to look after themselves and their body through healthy eating and learn the basics of first aid. We will have a, a significant bank of material that we can work with with the, the guys in class, whether it relates to laws of the game, whether it uh, relates to first aid, nutrition, um, uh, communication, uh, leadership skills. Uh, they're, they're really trying to bring in areas that will help them develop as individuals in a system, not just as rugby players, but as, as um, young, young people going out into society. The project has been such a success that 20 more schools will adopt the programme in the area. The youngsters should be aware that they must be up to date with all other subjects to participate, with pupils dropping out of rugby to catch up in any outstanding work. Um, obviously, their education is important as well, and uh, their attendance and, and their, their position in the School of Rugby is very much linked to their schoolwork as well. If there's any, um, any drop off in their schoolwork, it'll be reviewed and they potentially they, they drop some time out of School of Rugby to catch up. Harry believes that the involvement of Scottish Rugby in these programmes can be vital to the development of the youngsters throughout the whole country. Although improvement will not happen overnight, he believes it can all be good for the game. It allows um, Scottish Rugby to uh, identify maybe a problem in training or an issue that's arising and they, they can uh, know, know when it's going to be dealt with in the schools, roll out a change to them quickly so it can be, uh, you know, everybody can deal with it at the same time. Well, it looks like brighter times could be ahead for Scottish rugby and Ayrshire could well have a big part to play in the years to come. Okay, so if we, Jake has got the ball, Ali, where would you...